The Senate impeachment trial of President Donald J. Trump is officially underway. Now this all comes as new allegations challenge the president's defense in the Ukraine scandal. Mm -hmm. Kate Calmont, political reporter Randy Page, here with details now, Randy. Right. Such a solemn event today. 100 senators raised their hands and swore under oath to be impartial as they make what is probably the most important decision of their lives. Do you solemnly swear? It was a historic day when solemn oaths were taken. First, the Chief Justice of the United States. You will do impartial justice according to the Constitution and the laws, so help you God. I do. Will all senators now stand or remain standing? Then uh, all 100 right U.S. senators. You will do impartial justice according to the Constitution and laws, so help you God. <laughs> But they won't, some senators are saying publicly, as they point their fingers in the direction of their colleagues in the opposing party. Chuck Schumer is not looking for the truth. He's trying to become the majority leader. So how can the Senate conduct a fair trial with such rancor on both sides of the political divide? Democrats say the answer is simple. The trial must include new documents and evidence that have surfaced in the past few weeks since the articles of impeachment were passed in the House. And witnesses with first-hand knowledge must be called to testify, like former National Security Advisor John Bolton, acting White House Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, and this man. Yeah, I want to look at the GOP senators and to let them know that I'm here. Um, you know, not just the Republicans, the Democrats, you should know the truth. You could validate it. You have all my information. Call me. We could sit down and I'll tell you everything. Lev Parnas is an associate of the president's attorney, Rudy Giuliani, who says he knows the details of what really happened in the Trump administration's dealings with Ukraine. The Ukrainian-American businessman says he led the effort on the ground in Ukraine in trying to convince Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky to publicly announce an investigation into Joe and Hunter Biden. Parnas has turned over hundreds of pages of text messages, voicemail, and other documents to support his version of the events at the foundation of the impeachment charges. President Trump knew exactly what was going on. Uh, he was aware of all of my movements. Parnas says other top administration officials were also in the the loop, including Vice President Mike Pence, then National Security Advisor John Bolton, and Attorney General Bill Barr. Attorney General Barr was basically on the team. The Justice Department says that's completely false, and the White House says Parnas, who's facing felony charges for allegedly funneling foreign money into Republican political campaigns, is simply not credible. This is a man who's under, an indi under indictment and who's actually out on bail. President Trump says he doesn't know the man. I don't know him at all, don't know what he's about, don't know where he comes from, know nothing about him. He lied. In a series of... Today, Parnas's attorney released this video showing Parnas and Trump together, and he's released many other photos as well. And Parnas offered this change of heart to MSNBC's Rachel Maddow. I don't think I don't think Vice President Biden did anything wrong. I think he was protecting our country and uh, getting rid of probably a crooked uh, 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 attorney general. And uh, people use this uh, to their advantage. A lot of rich people in Ukraine have their own agenda, and they use us here for their own political uh, stuff. Will Parnas's testimony and documents make it into the Senate trial? Here's what both sides have to say about that. I smell a rat here. The guy is crooked as a snake. This is just another avoiding of the facts and the truth on their part. Okay, I know. It becomes so <laughs> difficult to take in. Well, you know what? We can all take a deep breath and enjoy a long weekend. But on Tuesday, the trial begins. All right. Randy, thank you.